Kentucky and LSU will be the second. We're underway. It's controlled by Redden of LSU. Blackman stripped it away. And now Harden gets the ball away from Redden. Blackman didn't have control. John Williams blocks the shot. And Harden scores for Kentucky. Dick, how about that for a start? <laughs> you talk about defense to decide this game, but there are di different stories on the defensive ends, aren't they? Dick, Kentucky really likes to play their man-to-man -man defense. As you see, Williams score the basket right there. They're strictly a man-to-man -man defense all the way. When you look at LSU, Dale Brown will give you a lot of signals with his defense. He likes to change his defenses at almost every dead ball situation. LSU starting off in his own defense. They're in basically a 2-3 right now, but they're trying to concentrate on Kenny Walker. Ed Davender is number 15, Harden 23. The other guard is Blackman. Here's Kenny Walker over Williams. Hicks. Kenny Walker, who's averaged 25 points a game in the NCAA tournament, the leading scorer and rebounder for the Wildcats. Derek Taylor, who is a hero against Georgia Tech, misses. And the rebound by Winston Bennett. Harden finds Blackman. Walker trying to tip it in, and Davender misses inside. Williams tips and taps it out to Harden. Oh, what a first minute. Fierce pace, and Kentucky is off their bench. What a contrast. The Wildcats were off their bench a moment ago, and LSU just calmly sat down. Inside, Walker. And they're going to call the foul against LSU. Quick action and fierce action off the start here. Watch underneath the basket right here. This is the Kentucky and good pass by Harden to Blackman. He can't get the layup. The follow-up by Walker doesn't go. Watch Williams come into the picture here and slap it back out. Kentucky gets the ball back again. Great hustle by Kenny Walker to come all the way down court when it looked like a, just a layup for Blackman. I think it's very obvious these two teams are really going to go after each other today in this game. And foul call is Bennett trying to get it up, and it's going to be Don Redden of LSU with the personal foul. That's his first. Derek Taylor had picked up the foul previously, so the Tigers already hit with two team fouls. And there is the signal by Dale Brown to fist out. And that means a 2-3 zone. When you see the LSU in their defense with those two fists, it's going to be 2-3 zone. Winston Bennett in the lane. Kentucky still has it. Kentucky in the early going, coming up with an awful lot of loose balls right now. Davender. Walker gets the rebound. And it's been all Kentucky other than the John Williams basket. Six to two the score in favor of the Wildcats. Just under three minutes gone by. Dick, that's about as emotional as I've ever seen Kenny Walker. Williams inside misses. And Harden comes out with it for Kentucky. It's an absolute frantic pace by these two clubs. Look at the rebounding. Kentucky has seven, and LSU just yet to grab one. Inside, Winston Bennett. And Redden gets the first rebound of the game for LSU. He's a 6'6 sophomore and was a guard who they moved to forward. Anthony Wilson hits from the corner. Loose ball. And a hell ball, and it's going to go to Kentucky. Watch Walker work the backboard right here. Good position. He's got Williams screened off. He goes up and grabs the rebound. Watch this forceful move back up. Watch the emotion now on Kenny Walker. He goes down. Look at that. Boy, is he excited. Dale Brown's going to his bench. 6'10 sophomore Jose Vargas from the Dominican Republic has come in for Ricky Blanton. So to help them off the boards, he's going with some bigger people right now. And a turnover helped by Vargas. Two on one for LSU. And the foul committed against Ed Davender of Kentucky as Derek Taylor was penetrating. Early shooting, here's what it's been. LSU has only managed four shots. That's what Kentucky's board strength has done. Sometimes, Dick, in a game like this, you get so emotionally charged in it, all of those little things that you do, like shooting the ball well, just doesn't come across. Sutton very upset right now about that call. Derek Taylor will be on the line. Sutton doesn't understand why it was a shooting foul. Taylor, the senior from Baton Rouge, had a season's high of 23 points against Georgia Tech. On Thursday, he had a blistering second-half shooting game in that ball, ball game, averaging 14. 
Derek Taylor put in some great shots the other night against Georgia Tech. Very, very difficult shots with Tech right in his face. Six to four ball game. Three minutes gone by here in the opening half. The blistering pace. Kentucky in front. And LSU continues in the 2-3 zone. Dale Brown had both fists raised over his head, and that's why LSU's in that zone. They want to get the ball to Walker. They got it to Walker. And Walker gets the basket and his foul. He is tight and pumped. Kenny Walker, the senior from Roberta, Georgia, just 90 miles south of Atlanta. Kentucky doing a great job of getting the ball to the inside of the LSU zone defense, and they're getting it to Walker and Bennett, but primarily to that man right there, Kenny Walker. The foul was on Jose Vargas of LSU, their third team foul, and here is Kenny Walker, who has averaged 13 points a game against LSU in their three games that they play. Kentucky has won all three, one close game. That was played at LSU, won by the Wildcats by two. Seven points. Kentucky now with a pressing defense. They come out in the zone, full court pressure. Red is also a guard, brings it across. John Williams with a short shot. This is, looks like Williams is still having his shooting problems as he did the other night. Blackman goes in. And Kenny Walker on the follow-up. It looks like Walker doesn't want to be denied to Dallas, Larry. Dick, are there five white shirts out there or just one playing five different positions? Kentucky has run out to a seven-point lead. Derek Taylor misses, and the rebound is by Bennett. Kentucky running. Blackman gets to Walker. Throws it away right into the hands of John Williams. Good ball handler is Williams. But Williams is still struggling. It's going to be LSU ball. John Williams scored a season-low five points against Georgia Tech. He was 2 of 15 from the field. Right now, he's 1 for 4. Watch Derek Taylor take a chance right here to intercept that ball. Cannot come up with it. Blackman follows, misses. Watch Walker with a follow-up. Yes. Anthony Wilson hits. Anthony Wilson, who was the hero in the first two tournament games for LSU. And it's 11 to 6 Kentucky. And now Dick LSU's changed their defenses again. They're going to go man to man. Taylor is on Harden. And it's Ricky Blanton who has the unenviable task of going against Kenny Walker. Ball knocked away into the hands of Wilson. It's a three-on-two chance for LSU. Taylor alley in to John Williams. And it's now 11 to 8. Dick, that's what John Williams needed. He needed a basket. He had not had one, and that one may get him over the hump. John Williams was the MVP of the Southeastern Conference Tournament, despite the fact that the Tigers were ousted by Kentucky in the semifinal. LSU's going to stay in that man-to-man -man defense. They were not having a lot of success with that zone because Kentucky was getting the ball to the inside. Still figure they want to get the ball in the hands of Walker being guarded by what really is a guard in Ricky Blanton. Blackman gets inside. Basket good and a foul. Dick Kentucky having an amazing success and in getting in there regularly inside of that Kentucky or LSU uh, defense, and they're getting a lot of three-point opportunities. Walker had one, and Blackman just got another one. The foul was on John Williams. That's his first foul of the game. James Blackman, the junior from Marion, Indiana, going to the line, and he had his best year after really struggling last season for Joe B. Hall. He's an excellent player when he came out of the state of Indiana. was probably one of the highest recruited players you will have found. This is the free throw. Knocked away, and Hank Nichols says it's LSU ball. So the Tigers trailing by five with just under 15 minutes to go. Eddie Sutton trying to get to the final four. Has a lead early in this game. Timeout. Larry, explain those changing defenses that Dale Brown uses for LSU. Well, the one you see right here, the closed fist, is the man-to-man -man defense containment. Soft man-to-man, -man, you back off and let the passes be made. The second one is the hand over the fist, which is basically a straight man-to-man, -man, what they call a hard overplay, denying the pass. Two fist is just straight two-three zone. When you get into the crossed arms, they call it the freak. It's one man playing man-to-man -man and four players playing a zone defense, or two players playing man-to-man -man and three playing a zone defense. And he had to go into that defense when he had all the problems at midseason, losing players from the various reasons. Don Redden hits outside. Don Redden was brilliant outside against Georgia Tech. Shooting like he's possessed, said Eddie Sutton. He had a game high of 27 against Georgia Tech, and LSU was climbed back now, trailing by three. And it's got Redden on Blackman out front. They're playing a man-to-man -man defense. Taylor's trying to chase Harden. 
Bennett goes on top to Davender. Into the ball game is Oliver Brown, good defensive player, a junior from Baton Rouge who can play guard or forward, but Davender beats him inside, and Brown has to foul. Good quickness by Davender, beat Brown clearly. Dick, what that is is recognition of the defense, and Ed Davender discovered it, and he made the good backdoor cut and was wide open and got a good pass. Brown's foul, here it is. Watch it right here. Winston Bennett with a good pass. Davender got the cut, and Brown was left standing at the top of the circle. So here is Ed Davender from Brooklyn, New York, averaging nearly 12 points a game. Quick penetrating guard who's led the Wildcats in steals the last two seasons. Also has that baby face. He's got a very youthful looking face. When he's our age, he'll look just as young <laughs> as he does now. 14 minutes, 11 seconds to go, first half. 14 to 10 to score. Davender makes one of two in the rebound by Brown of LSU. Kentucky does not try to be too creative on defense. They like to play a man-to-man -man defense. That's Eddie Sutton's basic defense, and he'll stay with it. Land gets it inside to Redden. Blackman on him, and Don Redden. A guard playing forward who suffered a severely bruised thigh late in the season at Hamperton, and there's the fist for Dale Brown. All right, that's the sign for the man-to-man, -man, what they call containment. They'll back off and not overplay the passes. Blackman is guarded by Redden. See, no pressure on the ball. Just back off, man-to-man -man contain. Blanton is trying to contend against Whoa. Kenny Walker, who walks. Blanton did a good job. He fronted him just as he did against John Sally of Georgia Tech and William Bedford of Memphis State. And that's how Ricky Blanton at 6'7 has defensed some of the big men. And coming into the ballgame, Cedric Jenkins, sophomore from Dawson, Georgia, who's been outstanding off the bench for Eddie Sutton. He had a good game the other night in that big win over Alabama. So LSU down by seven points at one time, now trailing by only a basket. John Williams up on high, being guarded by Jenkins. Tough assignment for him. Derek Taylor loops it up high. And the rebound taken down by Winston Bennett. Bennett had 12 rebounds against Alabama in the regional semifinal. I think you made an excellent point tonight talking about Bennett. He's really taken a lot of pressure off Walker on that rebounding side, which really enables him to become a better scorer. Under 13 minutes to go in the first half. Kentucky by two. Harden finds Davender. And now they're going to call the foul. Offensive foul against... Roger Harden, that'll be Harden's first personal foul. Right here, you can see them, they're in a man-to-man -man defense, and they're really backing off and letting Kentucky make their cuts, but Harden gets out of control. He goes baseline, Redden gets the good position. No, it was not Redden, it was Williams on the inside that Harden ran over. Kentucky had a 7-0 rebounding edge over LSU to start the game, took a lead, and Bennett almost stripped the ball away from Redden, who ties the game. So LSU has come back. And it tied the game at 14-all, and Dale Brown urges his team on. I don't think that was a signal for a defense. That was just an emotion. Emotion wins championships like this. Absolutely. We're in the short season. Jenkins. Now Harden. LSU has outscored Kentucky 10-3. But Harden comes in and gets a layup. Found an opening. Well, that was a great move to the inside. He kind of used Blanton as a screen. He got Taylor caught and went right around him, so he tied up the two LSU players right at the circle. Kenny Walker with nine. Don Redden with six, the leading scorer so far. Oliver Brown being harassed by Harden to get it into Blanton. Good feed to John Williams, and the basket will count on a foul. Good pass inside, and Dale Brown's Tigers have tied it again and now can take their first lead of the ball game. Watch Dale Brown right here. That's not a defensive call. That's just simply, that's great play, guys. Keep it going. Let's go. One shot. So here is John Williams, who did not play the first time these teams played. Third LSU player to score 600 points in a season. The other two, Bob Pettit and Pistol Pete Maravich. Two pretty good players. Yeah, I'll say. And now LSU leads for the first time, 17 to 16, with 11.45 to go in the first half. But right now, the last five minutes has been basically LSU, and they've done it with their defense. Oliver Brown is on Davender. Kenny Walker hasn't ha had a chance to handle the ball much, thanks to Blanton. Winston Bennett takes a rare outside shot, but follows it up. Misses. Taylor has it for LSU. 
John Williams against Harden with a lot of inches. Couldn't bank it in, and Bennett with another rebound. You know, sometimes when you're having a bad tournament like John Williams is right now, you're going to press because you feel the pressure of trying to carry your club like he's done all year long. He's got to get off of that because these other LSU players are outstanding athletes. They can pick up some of that load. And he can still help him out with passing and rebounding and just the presence of John Williams out there. Jenkins out to Bennett. Bennett fires away, and a foul is called. Don Redden called for his second personal foul. LSU was out rebounded seven to nothing when we started and Kentucky still has maintained the rebound advantage but LSU is getting a number of easy inside shots led by Don Redden that young man who just committed that foul you know it's interesting to note that Winston Bennett is really that's an uncharacteristic position for him to be shooting that ball from that range they usually try to push the ball inside to him second leading scorer, second top rebounder for Kentucky he averaged seven points last year and now nearly 13 a game. And there is the 2-3 zone that Dale Brown wants his Tigers to use next time defensively. You know, it's interesting that a club like that, which is getting ready to go into transition to go on offense, has got to remember what defense they've got to come back and play. Again, it goes to the theme of this game. Both coaches agree. Defense will win it. One out of two for Winston Bennett. Ties the game. 17 apiece. Dick Stockton and Larry Conley here in the Southeast region final. Two teams from the SEC. Redden puts a fake on. Double team, short. And Harden, who really helped well defensively, gets the rebound for Kentucky. Ten and a half to play in first half. Jenkins hasn't had a chance to shoot, and he's helped Kentucky off the bench offensively the last four games. LSU, which was having success with their man-to-man -man defense now, with that change going to that 2-3 zone, maybe they feel like they need a little bit of a breather. Kentucky was really putting a lot of pressure on them in that man-to-man. -man. 18 on the 45-second shot clock. Ed Davender firing outside. Williams and Walker battling. Comes down to Jenkins. Walker is battling for every rebound there is, offensively and defensively. Here's Kenny Walker again. Hard off the glass. Retton gets it out to Taylor. Both teams pushing it up. We're tied at 17. Taylor in the crowd. And the rebound by Winston Bennett gets it out to Davender. Oliver Brown is back defensively. And Davender goes in and they'll call the foul. Blocking foul against Oliver Brown of LSU. His second. Well, Dale Brown was really upset with this play right here. But watch Oliver Brown get back in good position, at least good position according to Dale Brown. Davender takes it up and lays it in. Hank Nichols saw it the other way. It was a block according to him. Dale Brown came to LSU in 1972. Yesterday he said, the only thought I had was try to catch Kentucky, the powerhouse. He's got a chance here today. LSU is already in the bonus with 17 fouls. Davender, who is an 80% free throw shooter. I think we really anticipated a very close basketball game today. Even though Kentucky has beaten this club three times this year, LSU has played with such emotion in this tournament. And coming in here, they really were a club. I think it was a dead even game. They are the lowest seeded team still alive in the NCAA tournament. So if you want to talk about Cinderella or improbables, LSU would be a candidate. But Kentucky leads right now by two. Tight game here in the first half with 9.42 remaining, and this is what they're all trying to do, get to the Final Four. Kentucky, of course, has gone nine times, winning five NCAA championships. LSU has gone twice. Louisville is going for the seventh time to Dallas next week. Dick right there on the left, Eddie Sutton is Leonard Hamilton, who just became the new head basketball coach at Oklahoma State University. He was not here for Thursday night's game for Alabama, but he was here tonight because he wants to see Kentucky get to that Final Four. Lending all kinds of support to Eddie Sutton. As LSU brings the ball up, trailing 19 to 17. And John Williams, the man you talked about, who had a terrible game against Georgia Tech, has seven points. That's more than his total of five on Thursday against Tech. But he lost the ball there. Turnover, gives the ball back to Kentucky, leading by two. Cedric Jenkins with a good defensive slap on the inside. Got the ball to Walker. Jenkins off the bench again, doing a good job for Kentucky. Derek Taylor all over Harden. Anthony Wilson for LSU is very quick sideline to sideline. He makes it difficult in a 2-3 zone. Two good guards for LSU. Very quick. 
quicker than Kentucky's guards if you include Harden in that. Winston Bennett shooting outside. The point you made again, and Bennett reaching in commits the foul on Blanton. But you're right, we haven't seen Bennett shoot from out there in a long while. I don't think it's really his position. He doesn't feel very comfortable out there. He likes the ball inside. Watch it again. LSU is a club that plays the good defense in there. Right here, you'll see it. Harden with the basketballs in there. He gets it to Bennett, but Bennett turns, goes up, misses the shot. He's 0 for 5 from the field is Winston Bennett. Blanton. Looking outside, Redden gets the ball and fires. And in there is Anthony Wilson with the follow-up. With all the big white shirts inside, Anthony Wilson at 6-4, who scored 25 against Purdue and got that game-winning basket against Memphis State, creates the tie again. LSU continues to stay in that zone defense. They have not been with that man-to-man -man but about eight minutes here in the first half. On the baseline, Jenkins gets it out to Bennett. Eight minutes, 20 seconds to go in the half. They trap, and now they call the foul. Wilson might have held Jenkins in the corner with three purple jerseys, and Anthony Wilson has the foul, and Kentucky will shoot one and one. There's something that LSU does very well out of that zone defense with that 2-3 is trap. They catch you in the corners and right on the wings, and, and when you've got Brown and Wilson, who are very quick and got long arms, it makes it very difficult to get good passes out of that. James Blackman will check back in the game for Kentucky, and Roger Harden will go out. There's Blackman, who really has emerged as a tremendous defensive guard in the mold of Eddie Sutton's teams at Arkansas this season for Blackman. He likes good guards, good quick guards that can penetrate, dish the ball off, and play good man-to-man -man defense. Jenkins misses the free throw. Blanton comes down with it. Tied at 19, winding down to eight minutes remaining in the first half. Dick Stockton and Larry Conley. Walker. Denying the ball, nearly committed the foul on Blanton or got the ball away from him. And Jenkins nearly stole the ball, and John Williams gets position and banks it in. He has nine points. Well, Jenkins took the gamble that time, and he missed, and it burned him because Williams got the bank shot. Looks like Kentucky's gambling all over that half court. Maybe, you know, Williams posts himself up very well, but he doesn't react to the ball quickly. He likes the position low and just kind of lock in, and I think maybe Kentucky's defense is keying in on that. Seven and a half minutes to go in the first half. Walker, surrounded by Taylor and Blanton, gets it in to Jenkins, fights his way in. Good play by Cedric Jenkins, the sophomore, who's been the most consistent reserve off the bench for Eddie Sutton this season. Derek Taylor works it in to Blanton. Taylor, fake Stavender in the air. And the rebound by Winston Bennett. Seven rebounds for Winston Bennett. 21-21 the score. And just about seven minutes to go in the first half. Dick, it's interesting to note the reaction on Kentucky's defense. When somebody is faked out on a shot, somebody recovers and helps. And that's exactly what threw that shot off that time for LSU. All three games between these teams have been low-scoring defensive battles. Blackman misses, and Blanton comes down with it. Good hustle by Blanton, and he is fouled by Jenkins of Kentucky. Ricky Blanton has done nothing but look good, despite the fact that he is really a guard playing center. And he's also a player that really gets no notoriety. He goes up here, battles for it. He and Jenkins trying to come up with it. Jenkins throws a clip on him and knocks him to the floor. It'll be LSU's ball. Only Kentucky's fifth foul. Robert Locke, a 6'10 sophomore from Reilly, California, is perhaps Kentucky's only bona fide postman. Strong and not quick has come in the game for the Wildcats. As Jenkins goes out for Kentucky. John Williams out to Taylor. Can't fake Davender that time, and Blackman nearly got the ball away. Blanton muscles his way in and gets the basket. Good second effort by LSU. They looked like they were in trouble in there. There's Dale Brown, two fist raised, 2 3 zone. LSU will drop back into 2 3 zone. I tell you, Blanton is the most unlikely looking basketball player you'll ever find in college, but he's a garbage man. He gets a lot of the baskets around inside. So LSU regains the lead by two. They had a two-point lead at 21 to 19. They have it again now with 5.57 to go in the first half. And Blackman calls timeout. And Dale Brown has LSU just about where he'd want him to be. Kentucky is the big favorite, but LSU leads it 23 to 21. 23 21 in favor of LSU, and neither team has shot anywhere near what they're used to shooting. Kentucky at 38%, which is well low for them.
Dick, I think there are two factors for that. One is the fact that I think the defense has been excellent on both clubs, but also I think the emotion really takes away maybe from the good fundamental uh, technique of shooting. And I think that both of these clubs are really uh, charged up this afternoon. As we mentioned, all three of their previous meetings, all won by Kentucky, were low-scoring affairs where defense was the catalyst. That's the way this one has started out. Winston Bennett comes in, gets a second effort and scores. Winston Bennett with his first field goal of the ball game, averaging nearly 13 on the season, and John Williams was shaken up. And, and another LSU player in the corner. Looks like Anthony Wilson is limping as he comes back on the floor. And he tells Dale Brown that he's all right. Here's Anthony Wilson. Well, the, way, the way Wilson went off the court, I thought he was really hobbling and going to have to go to the bench. Bernard Woodside, there is on the right side of your screen, a sophomore from Hempstead, New York at 6'6". A good ball handler, a good utility man is coming to the game for LSU. Number 30 with the ball now. Interesting changes right now by Kentucky and LSU with Blanton in the lineup. Sutton felt like he could put Locke in there to offset him, and that's a pretty good matchup on the inside. Neither guy a very offensive thinking. Derek Taylor, this is outside. Crash the boards, and the foul will be against Kentucky, and maybe against Walker. If it is, it'll be his first personal foul, and the foul is against Walker. Team foul number six against Kentucky. They're not yet in the bonus. Kenny Walker loves to climb that glass, and he tried to go up that time, and he went right up over the back of Blanton. Dale Brown yesterday described Walker as perpetual motion, which is a, an apt description indeed. Woodside with the ball with five minutes, ten seconds to go in the first half. They really pass the ball well side to side as LSU. A lot of touch passing by the Tigers. Well, they're trying to find the opening inside. John Williams is trying to get the ball in there, but he couldn't receive it. Anthony Wilson from the corner. And Anthony Wilson has six points. He and Renton have six. High score, John Williams for the Tigers with nine. LSU by two. Four minutes and 40 seconds to go in the first half. Walker, double team. Blocked from by Blanton from behind, and they'll call the foul against Ricky Blanton. Very difficult to stop Kenny Walker when, get, when he gets the basketball low on the block like that, that close to the basket. You're either going to foul him or he's going to make it, and that time he drew the foul. LSU really doesn't have the size to contend with Kenny Walker, who is 6'8", but plays like 6'10". They had Vargas briefly at 6'10", coming off the bench, but he's not as aggressive enough, I think, for Dale Brown at this point in his career. Well, I think Dale Brown has had a lot of success utilizing Blanton in this NCAA tournament, and that time he tried to use him on Walker, but it was not successful. Walker shoots 77% from the free throw line. the team last year to Kenny Walker his statistics not as high but that's because Eddie Sutton has gotten the other guys into the act a lot more and the teammates have matured so Walker hasn't had to do quite as much he has 10 points to lead the Wildcats Taylor who's 0 for 6 from the field with the ball going in and the foul will be called against Blackman of Kentucky before the shot. Woodside goes out of the ball game. For LSU, Don Redden returns. Redden has scored six points. You know, Blackman just committed that blocking foul, and he's probably the best defender Kentucky has at the guard position. But he couldn't keep up with Derrick Taylor. He got the one quick step, and once he got by him, he couldn't catch up. That's a quick young man right there. He proved to be quicker than Andre Turner of Memphis State when they played. And, of course, he had a lot of quickness over Mark Price of Georgia Tech. So Dick, there are a lot of people in the country that will tell you that Andre Turner probably is the quickest guard in the country. And Derek Taylor burned him a couple of times in Baton Rouge. Four minutes, 28 seconds to go in the first half. LSU trying to open up their biggest lead. And they do with three points, 27 to 24. They were down 11 to 4 at the start of this game. Both this raised, 2 3 zone. That's been the defense they've used most of the way here in the half. Yeah, in the first half, they really have utilized the man to man defense only for about five or six minutes. And that was uh, right about the eight minute mark. And it worked well. It did. Harden gives up the dribble, has to go to Blackman. LSU playing the 2 3 as well as you could play it. And what they do is they really crowd around the top when the ball comes to the point, and then they charge to the wings when the ball goes down in the corner. Blackman in the corner. Kentucky has managed only one basket in the last six minutes and will have the possession going to LSU. 
With the Tigers leading by three, Kentucky's had a big drought right now of six minutes. Watch this defensive hustle right here by the Fighting Tigers. Harden gets the ball in the corner right there to Blackman, who tries to get it to lock. Blanton slapped it away. Nothing to do but LSU to jump on the ball, and they get it on the alternate possession. 3.53 showing on the clock in the first half, and LSU trying to open up a five-point lead. Cannot put these Tigers away, Dick. They keep fighting back. They keep clawing back. Memphis State had a 12-point lead to hold the lead. And John Williams is fouled by Kentucky inside, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. Jenkins will report back for Kentucky. That foul is on Robert Locke. And Locke is going to sit down. But Williams will go on the line right now. LSU started out their year 14-0, Larry, and of course they had the Tito Horford problem. The seven-footer from the Dominican was dismissed. Nikita Wilson, an outstanding player, ruled academically ineligible. Zoran Jovanovic, another Yugoslavian player, one of two, was out. They had all kinds of problems. Obviously, with the loss of Horford, you lose a great talent, but I think the biggest loss really was Nikita Wilson. When he went out in mid-January, Dale Brown had to come up with something unique, and he came up with the changes in defenses, which really got him a whole new club. He started with a whole new basketball team in mid-January, and he has put it into a great one. That's the first miss from the line for LSU, leading 28 to 24. Three and a half minutes to go in the first half. Bennett to Walker. Walker with the basket, 12 points. He's the game-high scorer. Five for six from the field for Kenny Walker. LSU beginning to look more to the inside now. Kentucky allowing that pass to come in. You really have to front the inside. John Redden long range is short. Loose ball, Kentucky. Bennett to Davender. Slows it up as LSU got back in a hurry. But very seldom you see Kentucky going and take a bad shot off the break. If they don't have the proper numbers, they'll pull it back out and run their offense. Two minutes and 45 seconds remaining in the first half. Winston Bennett hits from outside, finally finding the range from out there. He has five points, and Kentucky has come back to tie it up. We've had six ties and three lead changes in this half. Derek Taylor, he's been cold. Williams. Blanton, and Blanton finally makes good, and LSU has the lead again by a couple. Dick, he continues to crop up in the most unlikely places. He continues to crop up to grab a loose ball, get a rebound, and a stick back. He's out of Miami of Florida, a sophomore. Blanton defending against Walker. Ball knocked away to Bennett, and Davender will slow it up with two minutes to go in the first half. Davender knew not to take it inside against the taller players, and he brought it back up to set up the offense. Coming off the screen, Roger Harden hits the shot to tie it up again. John Williams is more effective, and the Tigers are, when he plays down low. When he comes out, they kind of lose a lot inside. And Kentucky needs to front him to make sure that ball doesn't come in there. Jenkins has been good at that, but he's let a couple go. Now a turnover. Threw it away. The glass is important because that's where you win a lot of games. Watch Kenny Walker take this one back up and lay it in. Good shot off the glass. Minute and a half to go in the first half. We're tied at 30. Kentucky started out leading 11 to 4. LSU came back and at one time had a four-point lead. Davender cutting in, loses the ball. Here's Taylor, Harden back defensively. Walker trying to knock it away and he does. Kenny Walker playing the full floor today. Good hustle that time. Really, Taylor didn't even know he was going to come up that time. And you can see Davender trying to negotiate to move him over closer to Walker, which he did, but Walker couldn't come up with it. He slapped it out, and the Tigers get it back. Here comes their defensive stopper, Oliver Brown, for LSU coming in, and John Williams goes out. Williams has scored 10 points in the ball game and has two rebounds. He leads the Tigers. Red. Tries to fake Jenkins. Double team by Davender and the foul call against Ed Davender, and that'll be his second. I think it's a pretty good idea on Kentucky's part to go down and double up on Redden like that because when he gets the basketball down there, he can work his magic. Davender got in but committed the foul instead of the steal. I want to remind you, coming up at halftime, Jim Nance and Bill Raftery with scores and highlights and a report from the East and Midwest Regional. So here's Don Redden. 
who was not at full strength for two out of the three games LSU faced Kentucky. He had that bruised thigh. Actually, Kenny Walker jammed him with a knee, and then his own teammate, Jose Vargas, hit him with a hip. Bad enough to battle the other guys. You don't want your own people banging your ring. <laughs> and Don Redman with eight points in the ball game, and LSU has the lead again. None of these games are easy, Dick. Nobody gets this far without having to play some tough games. One minute remaining in the first half. Davender working against Wilson going in. Walker had it. Walker fights. What a game Kenny Walker is playing. He has 14 points and has just gone to the full extent on both ends of the floor, diving for loose balls, Dick getting it. down floor. Dale Brown waving his finger over his head with one shot. He wants one shot. They want to take the last one before the end of the first half. The shot clock shows 32, so there is about a two-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Redden gets it out to Anthony Wilson. So they can, in fact, if they don't turn it over, hold it for the last shot of the first half. In essence, they can do that. 20 seconds, you watch the clock go, and a steal. Bennett into the hands of Davin. Davender goes in. Ah! And coming out with 12 seconds to go is Redden. Harden from behind. Redden is blocked by Bennett. And Walker fires it up with six seconds, and I think neither club will have a foul here, by the way, as Dale Brown already signals that defense, that man-to-man -man contain the next time they come down. But both clubs, I think, thought that there was less time on the clock than there really was. They're, and they've got a full six seconds left to play here. Kenny Walker threw the basketball to the other end, but the foul had already been committed. And Redden kind of rushed his shot, too. Six seconds to go, and Redden will be on the line to try to give LSU the lead, and we already know what defense the Tigers will be in. Yeah, uh, hand over fist means a straight man-to-man. -man. You're going to see hard overplay, which means denying the passes to the offensive player. And now, two-shot foul. I'll tell you, they took a long time to blow that whistle that there was a two-shot foul, don't you think? Redden was fouled in the act of shooting. Eddie Sutton is angry, and they want to get him away from Hack Nichols, who's going to go over to Eddie. Hank Nichols is trying to explain to him he was in the act of shooting. But you know, that ball came off, and they battled for it for a few seconds before we heard that whistle. I think maybe the officials were frozen for just a second. They didn't know what was happening. All of a sudden, Hank Nichols got it back and blew his whistle, said he gets two shots. It's the calmest we've ever seen that man, Dale Brown. Won't stay that way for long. So LSU leads by one. Six seconds to go, and Kentucky's last chance to take the lead. Roger Harden gets it into Kenny Walker. And Walker's shot is good as the first half ends. John Williams, Walker of Kentucky with an amazing shooting first half. Williams four for nine, but that's coming off a five-point contest against Georgia Tech. So Kentucky has the ball, leading by one. Kenny Walker hit the jumper with one second to go, and it's been as close as that. Harden, Blackman, and Davender, the three guards, along with Winston Bennett, who had nine rebounds in the first half. He has the ball inside now. Fighting again, out of bounds, LSU ball, and of course, Kenny Walker. For LSU, they've got Derek Taylor, who's 0 for 7 from the field, Anthony Wilson, John Williams, Don Redden, and Ricky Blanton, as you look at the leading rebound. And one of them is Blanton right there, who had five off the bench, Bennett with a surprising nine. Not surprising that he can't do it, but he got them awful quietly. Anthony Wilson from the corner hits, and LSU regains the lead. That's what Kentucky has done when they've been in front at halftime. 30 and 1 on the season. The Wildcats looking to go to the final four for the 10th time in their illustrious history. I think it looks as if LSU might be in one of those freak defenses we talked about where they've got four guys playing zone and one man playing man to man. And the one man was Blanton guarding Walker, who just committed the foul. So the foul is going to be against Eric Taylor, his second personal foul. First team foul against the Tigers, and Harden will inbound. Don't forget. He was the hero in two out of the three Kentucky victories over LSU this year. This is the fourth time they've met. Kentucky beat Alabama four times. The last one coming in the regional semifinals on the Thursday. Kentucky being very patient with the basketball against this LSU zone defense. They're just moving it on the perimeter, trying to find Walker or Bennett inside. 
Hard looking inside and Blanton over the top knew it committed the foul. That'll be his second personal foul. I think Dale Brown's going to reach down off the bench and get him out of there. Oliver Brown, who's 6'6", will come into the ball game, replacing Blanton. So this is an awfully small team that Dale Brown has out there right now with John Williams, at Sitzek being the biggest. Oliver Brown walked into the game and gave the crossed arms, which is the signal for that freak defense again, which is the defense where one player plays man to man, and again, four players play a zone. And of course, we'll see how they play Walker. Oliver Brown is fronting him, and they got John Williams behind him. Well, it's obvious in any defense when you're playing Kentucky, you're going to concentrate on Walker. Blackman fires from the corner and hits. James Blackman. Four points for Blackman. Kentucky leading 36 to 35. A little more than a minute and a half gone by in the second half. Williams outside, feeds Redden inside. He saw Walker and thought better of it. Turn around and banks it in, and Redden has 11 points, and he now is the leading scorer for the Tigers. Dick, that was a very heady play. He looked Walker down then, turned away from him, and then turned around and went right back at him. I haven't seen Redden make many mistakes, and we saw him against Memphis State and against Georgia Tech. He's been consistently one of the better players for LSU and Dale Brown. Obviously a senior, he hates to lose a guy like that because he really provides good leadership for you. Inside, Davender from Harden. Williams and Oliver Brown closed off the baseline. You see how quickly the Tigers converged in the corner when Davender made that move. Oh, 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 oh. Oliver Brown now doubling on Davender, and they're going to call the hell ball, and that means it'll be LSU ball. LSU will take over possession. Oliver Brown, you're not going to see him do much offensively, but number 31 for LSU has played some fine defensive games guarding guards and forwards. Well, Dale Brown says he's probably the best player he has at recognizing defenses. He's excellent at it. You saw the turnover story, and that's what's kept LSU into this game. Walker knocks it out of bounds. Still LSU certainly hasn't been rebounding and shooting for the Tigers. Now Walker with a good move defensively there to slap the ball away from Williams and Bennett was ready on the backside in case he didn't get the ball. Williams on a feed from Redden. Got good position. John Williams with his 12th point of the game. Winner of this game will face Louisville and Dallas in the national semifinals next week. Tigers by three. Blackman. John Williams keeps it alive into the hands of Oliver Brown. Good job by Williams screening off Bennett that time, would not let him get to the ball. LSU can open up their biggest lead of the game if they score here. But Redden made one of his rare mistakes and lost the ball. It was an easy pass to him, and he might have lost his concentration. It was. You know what he was looking? He was looking to the inside. He was going to catch the ball and make a quick pass to the inside, and he lost his concentration. Only the fifth turnover of the game for the Tigers. Winston Bennett. Good blocking out by Don Redden. Well, Dick, you talked about that at halftime. We talked about them screening away, and they are keeping Kentucky away from that offensive glass right now. That's what's kept LSU going against Kentucky. Charging in, and the offensive foul will be called against LSU. I think it was Derek Taylor taking the ball down the right side. Three fouls on Derek Taylor now. He has not hit from the field. 0 for 7 at the half. And right now we're going to see a youngster from Belgrade, Yugoslavia, come into the ball game. Nabosha Bukamirovic is at the scorer's table. He did not play against Georgia Tech. Harden looking inside to Kenny Walker. Walker is short, gets another chance. Continues to fight inside. John Williams tries to keep it going. Walker, look at Walker all over the place. And finally, they'll call the foul against LSU. And it'll be against Anthony Wilson. And coming into the ball game will be the sophomore guard. We'll show you him in a minute. This is just unbelievable board work by Kentucky. Look at this. And it's Walker and Bennett primarily that are doing the work. Walker takes the shot. Watch Bennett keep the ball alive. There's Blackman sneaking in. Now look at Bennett. Look at Walker. You know, eventually that takes its toll. It really takes a pounding on your body to have to keep going back up. Nabosha Bukamirovic, 6'4", sophomore from Belgrade, Yugoslavia. He wears his first name on his jersey instead of his last name for obvious reasons. Bukamirovic, a smart fundamental guard with good range, they tell us, on his jump shot, is in the game as Bennett hits the first free throw. LSU by two. 
you know, been with those nine rebounds at halftime. You can see why he is such a strength on this board for Kentucky. Bennett misses the shot, but Davender has it for Kentucky. Derek Taylor went out of the game for LSU. Anthony Wilson remains in the ball game with Vukamirovic. Bennett plays strong inside over John Williams and eight points now for Winston Bennett. You've got nine ties in this game and six lead changes. Kentucky doing the job off the offensive glass through a 14 to 3 team. But Dick, they uh, really in the second half, the first three or four minutes, LSU was being able to screen them away and keep that ball out there. And here's Kentucky with a steal. Redden throws it away into the hands of Harden. Pulls up with it and throws up an air ball. That's rare for Roger Harden, isn't it? LSU crowd giving him a little razzing right now for those air balls. Harden beat LSU at the Assembly Center and then clinched the game with a winning basket in the SEC Tournament semifinal when Kentucky won by three. Anthony Wilson hits outside. I, what I like about LSU is that they can be down. They're not down by much. They've been in this ball game, but they continue to come back and fire away. I'll tell you, the guy that really is carrying the offensive load outside right now is Anthony Wilson. He's an excellent shooter. He's hit his last five from there. Knocked away by Bukamirovic. All over Harden, giving him difficulty. 14-40 remaining, second half. Harden. This is again in the rebound by Wilson. 41-39. The Tigers with the ball and the lead. Bukamirovic controlling. Into Williams. Good pass. Redden is there. They missed two layups they should have gotten. Williams well, and Redden. I'm sorry, Dick, that yeah. was two easy layups. Harden comes back with a left-handed bank shot. Oh, what a shot by Harden. Heavy traffic, threw it into the left hand, and he threw it in the basket. He's the kind of guy that can throw up an air ball and then make you pay for it the rest of the game. Here's Anthony Wilson with a short jumper. And Walker gets the rebound. Seven rebounds for Kenny Walker, and we're tied, and now the Wildcats can regain the lead. Here comes that crossed arm defense, which is called the freak. They'll usually have one man man to man, the other four zone. You can bet the one man that's playing man to man is on Kenny Walker. Kentucky's recognized the defense. You can see Oliver Brown on Kenny Walker in the paint right there. Brown follows him everywhere he goes. The other four players basically play in a zone on the floor. The 11 on the shot clock, and now Kentucky is called. For a foul. Watch Harden with this good crossover move. Boy, that was excellent. Left-handed, tough shot. Roger Harden with an excellent move. And Winston Bennett has committed his third personal foul for the Wildcats as we take time out. Maybe we can figure out why Larry Conley, LSU, calls this their freak defense. Well, the one man that's playing man-to-man -man is number 31, Oliver Brown. You can see Kenny Walker on the right side of your screen right there. He was being played man-to-man. -man. The foul was committed by Winston Bennett on the other side of the lane. But Brown was following Walker around. The other four players playing that zone. Eddie Sutton, who said he enjoyed this year more than any other in his 28 years of coaching. And also admitted that his team matched up well with LSU. And right now, we have a 41 all tie with 13 minutes and 12 seconds to go in the second half. Very reminiscent of the other games they've played this year, Dick. They've had close games all year long. Defense has been the decider, if not for Roger Harden. John Williams, double team, tipped up, tipped up again by Oliver Brown and Jenkins. And we'll have a held ball, and it'll be Kentucky's possession this time. That time, LSU showed us a little bit of offensive board strength. They went up and got a couple of shots at it. Nothing to show for it. One thing that's apparent is that John Williams has not been as fierce an inside player in this game as Kenny Walker has. Could be also uh, a little bit of experience showing there, too. Dick. Sophomore for LSU against Walker, the senior. Trying to get it in to Bennett. Oliver Brown behind him. Good turnaround by Winston Bennett. John Williams clears the rebound. 12 and a half to play. Still tied at 41. We've had 10 ties here in this battle between two Southeastern Conference teams. And Kentucky shooting only 27% this half. Credit LSU's defense for a lot of that. 
Well, Jenkins out on Williams. They've moved Williams down low in the post. They've got to get the ball to him down there. That's his strength. Cedric Jenkins giving Kenny Walker a breather. Pops to Wilson. The corner is Anthony Wilson, who's now hit. Six of eight shots from the field, and LSU regains the lead. Their biggest lead was four. Kentucky, you remember, started out with an 11 to four lead. Knocked away into the hands of Oliver Brown. What a tremendous defensive performer he is. Well, he caught hard and coming right down the lane, and Brown went up and just snatched the ball right out of his hands. LSU looks like they're beginning to get a little momentum right now, Dick. Bukamirovich tried to dish it off to Williams, who was taken down by Bennett, and then intercepted by Brown. So Kentucky showing a little shaky poise right there. Anthony Wilson, who's been red hot, misses for once, and now Kentucky will slow it up and try to tie this game again. You know, they've had Kenny Walker out of the game now for several minutes. It's about time for him to get back in here. Notice LSU has turned over the ball a few more times. And now a timeout called by Eddie Sutton of Kentucky, the top-ranked team against upset-minded LSU, seated number 11. We have 11-14 remaining in the second half. Well, I tell you what, when you look at the NC State-Kansas uh, game, NC State really playing excellent ball. They're kind of like LSU right now. They're on a roll. They're hot. Kansas is awfully good. Good club, Dick. When you look at Duke and Navy, Duke is the number one team in the country. I think probably has as much talent as anybody around. Louisville already in by virtue of their victory over Auburn. They'll play the winner of this game with LSU leading 43 to 41. Kentucky's been ice cold. Lackman, 2 of 7. Davender, 0 for 5. Bennett, 3 of 12. So this is a cold shooting Kentucky team out there now. But what's kept them in the game has been their offensive rebounding. They've really cut down their turnovers in the second half, too. Kenny Walker. And it was Bukamirovic who got all ball from behind. Eddie Sutton thought it was a foul. But I'll tell you, the sophomore from Belgrade, Yugoslavia, has made a definite contribution since coming in for Derek Taylor. He has. It's been mostly on the defensive end. Walker, Walker. on the steal will go in. What a play by Kenny Walker, anticipating the pass to Williams. Dickie's doing everything but selling popcorn today. I think he's even doing that during the timeout. 18 for Kenny Walker. And we have a tie again, nearly halfway through the second half. Red, they isolate him over Bennett. Maybe a little bit out of his range, and it's knocked out of bounds by Blackman. Here at the Omni in Atlanta, Georgia, this is Dick Stockton and Larry Conley. This is the Southeast Region Championship. Kentucky against LSU. The winner of this regional will place Louisville next, year, next week in Dallas. And LSU has given Kentucky all they can handle in the fourth meeting between these teams. Redden goes up, hit with the offensive foul, and that'll be number three against Don Redden of the Tigers. I think that's a tough break right there for Don Redden because he looked like he had the inside move and maybe Davender would have gotten over and stolen the ball, but he had him beat. Looks like they're trying to isolate Redden. That's two times in a row now they went to him and tried to get him set up to take Bennett. Davender looking inside to Jenkins. Williams patrolling. Number 24 in the dark-shirted LSU Tigers. Harden gives Kentucky the lead. That was a big basket for Kentucky because they had been struggling here in the second half. LSU would not let them get that lead. Harden has 10 points in the game. Getting a hand on it is Blackman. LSU gets it back. Redden misses again. And Kentucky's Jenkins with the rebound. Nine minutes and 10 seconds remaining in the second half. LSU in that sort of freakish defense they've got right now. Four players playing zone, and right now Oliver Brown chasing Kenny Walker. LSU is in basically a matchup zone. They find a player on an area of the floor, and then they zone that particular area. Bennett on the bench, so Jenkins and Walker are the two front court players. 12 on the shot clock. Sutton is calling for a foul away from the ball. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Lockman is in the corner. Davender penetrating inside. Good move by Davender down the lane. His and they knew, the, they knew the shot clock was running out. His first basket of the game and timeout called by LSU.
Milwaukee has scored six straight points capped by Ed Davinder's first field goal of the game. But what about this action away from the ball? Dick, who said this was a non-contact sport right here. Oliver Brown and Kenny Walker really physical in here trying to battle for position. Eight minutes and 24 seconds remain. Kentucky leading 47 43 their heart and soul right there Kenny Walker who has 18 points averaging 20 on the year nearly perfect from the field missed just three and he also has seven rebounds. I think that was a good place right there for a timeout and Dale Brown took it because Kentucky was on a run they had made six straight as you said now they're going to come out with good pressure man the man a good move countered by Eddie Sutton they bring Derek Taylor of course back into the ball game. Taylor has three personal fouls. A nice cold from the field. Nearly lost his footing. And they call the foul against Kentucky. It'll be against Davender, his third personal foul. There's an interesting point in the second half so far. Kentucky, that's only their second foul. Second team foul so far. It's very important. LSU has committed five fouls, so if this continues at this rate, Kentucky will have some fouls to get. Blackman got his hand on the ball when Reggie shot. John Williams with a good move across the lane. They got it over the top of both Jenkins and Walker, who were there to deny it. Williams with 14 points, leading score for LSU. Kentucky's lead is two. Well, they're looking to the inside. They want to try to spring Walker free in there, but he's got Blanton on him again, who's back in there balconing. They get it to Walker. Davner seems somewhat reluctant to take that shot, and he's wide open on that angle over there. Jenkins, short, into the hands of Williams. LSU, Williams, good ball handler. Not been the force in this game. He scored two in a row with 16 points. But John Williams has tied it up now for LSU in Kenny Walker's game, but Walk Williams has brought him back. Look, we haven't, or Dick, we haven't heard too much of uh, Williams, but so far he's beginning to come on now. The last minute and a half of play, he's beginning to assert himself. Walker. Here's James Blackman. Breaks the tie again. Well, what a great game. Both of these teams are playing well. Talked about Williams with his 16 points. He's been LSU's leading scorer in only one of their last eight games. Looks like he wants to get in the act here. This is the shot, the rebound by Ed Davender, and they call Williams for the foul. That had to be out of frustration. Yeah, but Dick, that was very inadvisable to make that foul because that's going to be the sixth team foul against LSU. Now the next one, they go to the bonus. Let's go back earlier and watch Kenny Walker and Blanton battling for position inside. Walker really got double teamed, almost triple teamed. You see Williams, Blanton, and Redden all around him. He did the smart thing. He got the ball to the corner, and that guy buried it, James Blackman. So the good point you have, Larry, is that LSU, next foul will put him, Tucky, in the bonus. Kentucky's committed only two team fouls, and the Wildcats lead by two. Southeastern Conference champs with a tremendous 17 and one record. Williams knocks it away. And let's see, Hank Nichols says it is last touched by Blanton, who was out of bounds. Good call by Hank Nichols. Blanton didn't know he was out of bounds when the ball inadvertently touched him. But it actually looked like it hit him on the back. You see Jenkins going up here battling in the corner for the ball for Kentucky. Now watch Blanton come down. See, he's standing on the line when the ball hit him right in the back. Harden inbounds for the Wildcats. Good alert call by Hank Nichols, the official, to be watching for that. Six minutes to go in the second half. Kentucky led by one at the half. They lead by two right now. Walker, quick touch pass over to the corner to Blackman, who hits two in a row. Well, we talked about Williams for LSU bringing them back. How about Blackman for Kentucky? Blackman with eight points in the ball game. Redden defended well. Anthony Wilson short, but there's Blanton again, and Ricky Blanton, 51 to 49. Like I said, Dick, he crops up in the strangest places. <laughs> he did it again. Don't forget, he's a guard. He was supposed to battle Don Redden for the off-guard position this year. And all, he, and all he's done the last three games is battle three of the best centers in the country. 
Dale Brown says of my 11 players, nine of them are really guard performers. Running down to five minutes to go now. Kentucky leading by two. Winston Bennett. This is the shot. Fight for the loose ball. Jenkins can't save it for Kentucky. So they have Jenkins at 6'9", Bennett at 6'7", and Walker in the game all at once. Watch the battle underneath the board right here. Good effort by Blanton. Now watch him take it back up and just lay it in left-handed. He's had an outstanding game off the bench for the Tigers. And it looks like Kentucky has their board men in there, don't they? Yeah, they got the big lineup in there with Walker, Jenkins, and Bennett. LSU looking to tie the game. Four minutes and 40 seconds to go, second half. Probably a pretty good move by Eddie Sutton to put a taller Jenkins in there on Williams, who's having a pretty good game. Blanton. Pick and roll. Well executed. Redden to Blanton on a pick and roll play, and we have another tie. Our 13th tie of the ball game. Four fifteen on the clock. LSU's going to have to concentrate that defense a little bit more on Blackman in that corner to deny that shot. He hit two in a row, but Blanton has come back to hit two. Inside a Walker, and the foul will be against Blanton. That'll be his third personal foul. Here's that LSU play on the other end. Dick, some things never change. The old pick and roll has been around for 50 years. You're going to see it executed to perfection. Look at that. Redden got the screen. He moved and got the ball to the rolling Blanton. Excellent, excellent execution. And Blanton is a perfect four for four from the field, but their defensive ace, Oliver Brown, is into the ball game right now, and Don Redden gets a rest on the bench. Eddie Sutton trying to get to the final four in his first year at Kentucky. By the way, Kenny Walker has only two points this half, so LSU's done something, and maybe that freak defense has done it. As Walker misses the free throw, Blanton gets the rebound. It defense Kenny Walker well, the Tigers have. And I think it's been that freakish defense that they put into play right there, with one guy being man-to-man -man on Walker and the other four in the zone. Three minutes, 45 seconds to go. Walker guarding Blanton. And they'll call the foul against Kentucky. As Don Redden will come back in the game, Blackman commits his second personal foul. Only the third team foul against the Wildcats. Kentucky being able to keep those fouls down will not put LSU into the bonus now for the next three fouls. That's going to be an important factor as we wind down toward the end of this game. Almost like situation substitution for Dale Brown. Oliver Brown when he needs defense and Don Redden when he needs the offense. Redden. Don Redden gives LSU the lead by two. Good job of faking by Redden to get up and get that one down. Dale Brown now with the crossed arms. He's going back to his freak defense. Three minutes and 15 seconds to go. Nip and tuck all the way. Kentucky, seated number one, LSU. The lowest seed still alive in this NCAA tournament. One of these Southeastern Conference teams will go to Dallas. You know, Dick Descript is holding true for the other three games. They were low-scoring affairs. We're going to have a fourth one just like it. And Roger Harden won both of them. The two of them, I should say. Here's Blackman from the corner, and a big basket ties it again. Dick LSU needs to get over to shut down that shot. Blackman has hit three in a row from the very same spot. Either that or they feel that let him try it if he beats us, okay, but better Blackman than Walker. Better Blackman from 20 than Walker from two. <laughs> 2.33 on the clock. Into Blanton, and Blanton is fouled by Kentucky. Blanton is looking for a call on the basket. Cedric Jenkins off the bench. And the foul is Jenkins' third. So Blanton will go to the line. He has not been one of the better free throw shooters for the Tigers, hitting only 65% coming in this game. Dick, except for the first four minutes of this basketball game, it has really been a tension-packed game for all these guys who've been out there playing. They, neither one of them have had a big lead, and it really begins to take its toll on, on weariness and on strength. And you've got to watch in this final two and a half minutes is who's going to be fresh and ready to play. Ed Davender will come in the ball game for Kentucky and going out as Jenkins. So Eddie Sutton going with the smaller, quicker lineup right now. But I think the whole thing for Kentucky right now is getting the ball in the hands of Kenny Walker, who has scored just two points in his hand. But it's been LSU's defense that's been able to deny him that basketball. Two plus free throws by Blanton, and LSU leads by two. Big possession right here for both teams. 
Kentucky needs a basket. LSU needs a steal. 2.20 on the clock. Harden holding up four fingers right now. Let's see what type of play they run against this LSU zone. They look inside for Walker and Bennett. Both are rotating inside, but Blanton and Williams doing a fine job. They have 15 seconds on the shot clock. Winner faces Louisville, and you know Kentucky would so dearly love to play. Their rivals from the state of Kentucky. Five seconds to go on the clock, and here's Blackman again from the corner. Not this time, and they'll call a foul on Kenny Walker. They waited till the clock ran down to two seconds, and they went to the well again in James Blackman. But that time, the well was dry. The ball did not go down. You'll see it come in. Blackman had a good shot. He got it up. He hit three in a row from right there. That one was a little bit short, and Walker commits the foul. That's the fifth team foul against Kentucky, so they're not at LSU's not in the bonus yet. Walker only his second foul. All right, man-to-man man -man pressure right now, Dick, by Kentucky. They're coming up and really sticking it to LSU. Davinder on Taylor. Taylor. Redden on the offensive board, and Don Redden with a big rebound and a basket. 15 points, and LSU has matched its biggest lead of the ball game, 57-53, with 121 remaining. And Blandon is hit with his fourth personal foul. Ricky Blanton has been shadowing Kenny Walker all afternoon, particularly in this second half. Watch Redden with his offensive rebound. The miss is short. Taylor took a shot, I think, that was inadvised right there. You're going to see Redden go back up with a good, strong offensive rebound. It seems like when LSU needs somebody to come forward, it's always Don Redden who's the guy that jumps up. So here's Kenny Walker, who is two for four from the free throw line. You can see what he has done and what he has been limited to in the second hand. You know what Eddie Sutton's pointing at right there? He was pointing to the net. And they reached up and pulled the net down. It was up over the top of the rim. He felt like it was bothering Walker's shot. Trying to bring Kentucky to within two points. Kenny Walker, and he does. 57 to 55. 119 to go. And a timeout called by LSU. They'll have two timeouts left, so will Kentucky. When we resume to the excitement of the Omni in Atlanta in just a moment. We want to remind you that tomorrow at noon Eastern time, the World Figure Skating Championships continue from Geneva, Switzerland. Noon Eastern tomorrow. Meanwhile, here at the Omni in Atlanta, Larry Conley, LSU is leading Kentucky, 57 to 55, 119 to go, each team with two timeouts remaining. And the possession arrow faces LSU, and there's a wing from Dale Brown. How loose he's had this team. Dick, he really has had it, and I think it's been a big plus for them. Even earlier, Anthony Wilson, who took a shot that was really out of his range, when he walked over to him, he smiled at him, and Dale looked at him, he says, you know you shouldn't have taken that, but he said, yeah, coach, I know it. Right now, you got to look for Kentucky. They're going to go man-to-man -man pressure. Kenny Walker's going to be backing off, trying to deny the long pass. Kentucky needs a turnover. They have to get the basketball. Redden will inbound, knocked away by Winston Bennett. Good attempt by Bennett, indeed, but it's still LSU possession. Walker with 20 points, 16 of them in the first half. Williams with 16, Redden with 15, lead LSU. 1.15 to go, and I'm sure LSU will try to use as much as that clock. And Dick, remember the Kentucky has one foul to give. They can give up one foul before they get into the bonus. Keep in mind that Blanton is a 65% shooter. And of the men on the court, knocked away by Kentucky. No backcourt violation. 19 on the shot clock, 52 seconds remaining. That idiot, a little bit of that shot clock. It took him seven or eight seconds to get back. 12 on the clock, big possession, knocked away by Blackman, and they're going to call the foul against Kentucky, and that's the one to give that you talked about, Larry. That will not be a shooting foul, and Eddie Sutton's Wildcats are now within one foul away from getting into the bonus. And Davender commits the foul, his fourth personal foul. So Blanton and Davender, each with four in the game. But Dick, it's important to note now, Dale Brown's going to take a timeout, but he can run the ball out. 
That is his last. He has one more timeout after this, but you're right, 44 seconds on the clock, and that's critical. Dick Stockton and Larry Conley back in Atlanta, and as Larry pointed out, LSU can hold on to the ball the rest of the way, leading by two. So you know Kentucky may have to foul. Here's what LSU's free throw shooters are like down the stretch. But keep in mind that the name not up there is Ricky Blanton, who's a 60% shooter. Now, I don't know whether LSU will get him the ball. Normally, he's the guy who does the offensive rebound. And Dick, you've got to believe that Kentucky is aware of that. If they're going to go after a single player, Blanton, from a percentage standpoint, is the guy you want to try to attack. LSU trailed 51 to 47. Blanton, with two baskets and two free throws, has sparked the serve. 57-55. Eric Taylor brings it out. They're going to trap Kentucky is and try to get the steal first before they have to foul. They're in no hurry though Kentucky. No, there's no there's a lot of time left. Redden working against Blackman. To find Williams. Trapped with three men. You watch the clock. That's the game clock. No shooting clock involved here. Anthony Wilson in the corner. Redden. Redden goes to Blanton and the basket's good. They found an opening and Blanton gives LSU a four-point lead. Ten seconds away from another stunning upset. But Harden scores for Kentucky and timeout call by the Wildcats. And any Sutton's going to have to pull a rabbit out of the hat right now, Larry. All right, Dick, look at the strategy from this standpoint. If you're Eddie Sutton and you're in his huddle, you tell them this. You deny the pass. You do everything to keep the ball from coming in from out of bounds. But let's go back and watch it for just a second. The ball comes inside. Look at Redden get the ball over to Blanton. Great pass by Redden. Good presence of mind to get the ball to the guy who's closer to the basket. As he charged up. all but two of LSU's points when they were down by four. But go on with your point. Well, the strategy is this. Eddie Sutton has got to get out, and he's got to deny the pass. If the ball comes in, you foul immediately. They may not have a choice as to who they want to foul. And you've got to look at Dale Brown's standpoint. He's in the huddle saying, get the ball into the hands of the guy who is our best free throw shooter. And they've got several who shoot the ball well in that final final four minutes. Those numbers were pretty high when we saw them. So it's really LSU's game to lose, you may say, right now. And the Tigers are five seconds away. And Dale Brown said, we'll crawl to Dallas if we have to yesterday. OK, what you want to do now, if I were in Dale's place, I'd put Ricky Blanton, who's my worst free throw shooter, out of bounds to throw the ball in. And I try to get it to Redden, or I try to get it to Taylor, who are both in the high 80s in the free throw shooting percentage. Blanton. Taylor, Redden, Wilson, and Williams. Dale Brown, a character, unpredictable, emotional. He admits he's nuts, doesn't he, sometimes? It's going to be Redden who's going to trigger it. Five seconds to go. LSU leading 59 to 57. Foul's got to come immediately if they cannot get the steal. And they commit the foul, Bennett on Williams with three seconds to go. And so John Williams on the year, a 79% free throw shooter, but he has been better than that in the clutch, will have an opportunity now to give LSU a four-point lead on the one-and-one, one, or at least a three-point lead if he makes the front end. Kentucky still has one timeout left. So it's all on the shoulders of John Williams who is the MVP in the Southeastern Conference Tournament despite the fact that his team lost to Kentucky in the tournament semifinals. And there are the cheerleaders and what they must be thinking. Lowest seeded team still alive. Williams is two for three from the line today. Time for timeout, that freezing. Timeout called by Kentucky. That's their last timeout. So Eddie Sutton, who's only matchup against Dale Brown in the NCAA tournament was a loss when Sutton was coach at Arkansas and Dale Brown's Tigers beat him 72 to 65 in the semifinal in the Midwest Regional six years ago. And of course, the excitement will continue tomorrow. We know that Louisville is in the Final Four. LSU is getting close. Tomorrow, Navy against Duke in the East Regional Final at 1.30 Eastern, followed by North Carolina State in Kansas. And I guess, obviously, Duke and Kansas are the favorites in that game. Could it be something if 
maybe gives Duke the kind of a game LSU has given Kentucky today. And what about NC State, who's been there before? Indeed, you look at Jim Balbano, who's had a lot of success in the NCAA tournament. Obviously, he's won one championship. He's going up against an awfully good Kansas Jayhawk basketball team, though. I think has as many weapons as in their arsenal as any club in the country. Balanced attack for LSU, led by John Williams, 16. Don Redden's 15. Blanton and Anthony Wilson each have 12. Three seconds remaining, and Williams will go to the line. LSU is 11 of 13 from the free throw line today. And so here's a team, LSU, that lost three games to Kentucky in their regular season and tournament, but it means nothing for Kentucky if they don't win this one. The only thing they remember is the last one. And this one will get somebody to Dallas. So here's John Williams, just a sophomore from Los Angeles. Kentucky has positioned three players practically at midcourt for the outlet pass. This is the shot, the rebound by Bennett. Out to Blackman quickly with one second to go. Blackman shot off the rim. And LSU has won it. 59 to 57.